Y'all, it looks like the Kardashian PR uh, machine is in high gear, if you will. The Kardashians' favorite outlet, TMZ, has now issued something that is akin to somebody saying, don't believe your lying eyes. What, pray tell, would your eyes be lying to you about the fact that Kim Kardashian damaged the Marilyn Monroe Monroe dress? But not true, says TMZ, and they have proof. What is that proof? Well, apparently it's the executives in Ripley's Believe It or Not. This is the same executive, so it's been rumored that Kim gave a very high, high, big donation to. But let's get into all of this and see if we believe it. All right, let's look at TMZ. Now, as we know, TMZ is a paragon of truth, depending on who you talk to, or maybe they're just a parrot for the Kardashian. I'm going to read you their statement. I'll let you be the judge. They said, Kim Kardashian caused quite a stir when she donned Marilyn Monroe's iconic dress to the 2022 Met Gala, but she did not cause any damage to the gown. A recent photo floating around on social media allegedly showed the dress before and after Kim K took it out for a spin. However, a rep for Villa Police, believe it or not, who bought the dress for $4.8 million in 2016 is coming to Kim's defense. Now, notice the way they worded this, a rep who bought the dress. No, a rep for Ripley's, believe it or not, Ripley's, believe it or not, bought the dress for $4.8 million. But you see how they tried to make it seem like that was the owner? At least that's how I read it. The rep says, a report written on the dress's condition in early 2017 states a number of the scenes were pulled or worn. This is not surprising given how delicate the material is. There is puckering at the back by the hooks and eyes. Okay, we see the puckering. We are talking about the obviously ripping. You cannot have us believe. We see the before and after. Puckering, we saw. We saw that. That's it. But that's all they're saying. Clearly, the before photo was taken before Ripley's even acquired the piece. Again, I want to point out the puckering is one thing, and I completely understand that, right? But a report written on the dress's condition states a number of seams were pulled. A rep since t- tells us that since the purchase of the dress, Ripley has displayed it around the world, a process that has also put the piece at risk for potential damage. Where's the report on what happened to the sleeve? Where's the report on the actual torn fabric? Not the puckering, but the torn fabric. Where's the report on the torn sleeve? Amanda Joyner, Ripley's VP of Publishing and Licensing, who was with Kim and the dress the entire day of the Met, says, from the bottom of the Met steps where Kim got to the dress to the top where it was returned, the dress was in the same condition as it started. You guys, this is also more trickery. From the bottom of the stairs to the top, we're asking what happened when Kim put on the dress. Can you tell us what happened from the time of the dressing room until Kim got out the car at the Met? Can you tell us what happened to the dress then? because that's what we're interested in. Now, you know the dress is the exact same, rep, the exact same one that Marilyn wrote for uh, the uh, for war when she said, you know, happy birthday, Mr. President. Interestingly enough, it's also come out that Kim actually gave a sizable donation to Ripley's, uh, believe it or not, Now, as we know, right, it's worth noting that Ripley's Believe It or Not is not a museum. It's part of a privately owned for-profit attractions company with deemed locations. Kim didn't pay a fee to wear the dress, but she donated to the organization on Ripley's behalf. Conservators were speechless that Kim even wore the Marilyn Monroe dress. Again, this was a flex of Kim's ego and her power. And because of that, something that many people find irreplaceable, and even if you don't, I know what a lot of people are saying, Oh, well, you know what? A lot of people didn't know about it. 13 and 16 year olds didn't know about it until Kim wore the dress. First of all, Kim's demographic is not 13 to 16 years old. Girl, that's Kylie. Ain't nobody 13 to 16 year old looking at Kim Kardashian as a style and icon. But if that's your logic, then every museum in this world, we can just burn it or shut it down because nobody knows I would say as much as 95% of things that were in the museum. Just because the average person doesn't know it exists does not mean it doesn't have any cultural significance. But let's get into this, right? Textile conservators and fashion curators are appalled that Kim donned Marilyn's iconic gown. Now listen, 
They were saying that in America, the anthology of fashion, it examined the historical context and tells stories of unsucked heroes. Okay, blah, 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 blah. The people that were in charge actually said, I'm frustrated because it sets back what is considered professional treatment for historic costume. You, people like to say, oh, it's a dress. And a lot of people said people look down on it being a dress because women usually, um, hold the cultural strings when it comes to um, his, history. And out of all history, it's such as sto stone swords artifacts, it's lo looked at as like a silly woman thing, which is why it gets less respect. But they literally said this is treatment of a historic costume. If costume makes you feel bad, then say it was treatment of something historic, right? This is from Sarah Scortoro. She's the chief conservative at the Cleveland Museum of Art and formerly a conservator of the Metz Costume Institute. She said in the 80s, a bunch of costume professionals came together to state a resolution that historic costumes should not be worn. They said, right? They said, obviously, if you have Charles James hanging on your grandmother's closet and you want to wear it, fine. But something that's archived means it's enough cultural importance that we value it and want to save it. The dress represents something very important. It's part of our collective cultural heritage, and I am speechless over it. Now, again, people said that Kim did not pay to wear the dress, but she gave a donation to Ripley's Believe It or Not. She also posted on her Instagram, her and North having a field trip in ripley's uh believe it or not again this was a flex of kim's power of her influence and the fact that at the end of the day yes ripley should have said no but at the end of the day when are we actually going to put limits on what people's money actually can buy what is not for sale today what it will not be for sale tomorrow we literally have to ask ourselves right you look at, uh, it's a very, it, the dress was actually made in a very delicate fabric called souffle, souffle, which is stretchy and resilient when it's new, but becomes weaker and more brittle with age. Now, if you guys don't know, the dress is irreparable because the silkworms that were actually used to make the silk are extinct. The factory that the silk was made in, the textile factory is no longer there. They don't even have the technology or the raw material to make it, which is actually... It's kind of analogous with what's going on with our culture. They said that what's more, it's from Bordeaux of heavy beadwork. Gravity can do a lot of damage. Whenever you move, something is giving way, even if you can't see it. Under a microscope, it would show little splits. Now we all see, look at what gravity was doing right there. And over time, it would be a big problem. They say the garment is a vehicle channeling history. It speaks and the damage to us has cultural consequences for generations to come. They said that the job, or Ripley's job, should have been to get the garment to the next generation with as little damage as possible. So that 500 years from now, these objects are around to talk about our history, our collective history as people, design, technology, arts, and culture, all that gets blended into a single object, in this case, a garment. It represents a moment in time. Now, as we know, right, Ripley feels that it strongly feels that the dress with both political and pop cultural significance is the most famous item of clothing from the 20th century. For all of you guys that are just like, oh, it doesn't matter, Ripley thought it mattered. Kim said that she'll be donating to two Florida-based organizations, a goodwill gesture and appreciation for us allowing her to wear the dress. We're not disclosing their names, but they're organizations we've worked in the past, and they're youth-oriented in arts and underserved communities. Because you know every single time Kim does something, it has to help underserved minority communities. You know, again, you guys, we can argue back and forth. Let me know in the comments if you believe TMZ, but even the way TMZ worded this, which I find very, very odd from the time it was at the bottom of the steps to the top, it did not get damaged. What about when it was being put on? And Ripley saying that it already showed puckering at the seams. We weren't talking about the seams. We were talking about the actual ripping at the shoulder and the ripping at the the bottom you guys again to me this is another felt cover-up and it's actually really disgusting but you know what i'll let you guys be the judge let me know what you think in the comments my little tattletales and i will talk to you later bye